Hi, I'm Alisson from Rec for App, and today I'm going to show you how to migrate an app from parse.com to Back for App. Let's start logging in Back for App. If you don't have an account, please click on sign up button and fill the simple form. No credit card is, is required. Ok, let me log in. At this main panel, click on the Migrate My Parse App button. So you're going to see the first wizard window. The migration consists of four steps. At first, we create your database and parse server structure on back for app On the second step, we copy your database to back for app After that, we will migrate all your keys from parse. And finally, we are going to point your app to back for app API address using the parse SDK. Ok, let's start. Click on start button. To create your structure on back for app we need the app name and app ID. You can get this information on your parse account. Access your parse account and then click on the app you want to migrate. Go to app settings menu and over the general section find the app name field. Copy it and then paste on the wizard window. After, click on security and keys and find your app ID. Ok, on top of the screen, here, copy and then paste on wizard window. Ok, let's paste. Now click on the next button and go to the next step. At this moment, your parse server and database structure are ready on back for app servers. Let's copy your database. Copy your new database URI and back to parse.com. Go to App Settings General Menu and find the migration button. It's into App Management section. Click on the migration button and paste your URI and then click on the Begin button. This is the most important moment of your migra migration. Parse will copy all your data to back for app and point Parse API to this new database. You need to test your app to check if everything is working fine. If so, commit the operation by clicking on the finalize button. Ok, now your app is working using parse.com API and the back for app database. Go to back for app, check this box and click on next button. Now let's copy your parse keys. Go to parse API settings again, then click on the security and keys. Copy all your available keys and paste them on back for app. Okay, the last one. Then click next. Your migration is almost concluded. This is the back for app API address. You need to update your app with this new API address. Click on this link and get those instructions. Let's suppose that you have an iOS app. Click on this menu download and install the latest SDK version. Now update your code. Here you can see the updated code. Just copy and paste on your app source code. Congratulations! Now you have concluded the migration process. Click on the finish button and then check all app details on this panel. Just to make clear your architecture, now you have an existing app pointing to Parse API 
and a development app pointing to Back 4 App API. We suggest you publish as soon as possible your new app because Parse will shut down its API on January 2017. So let me show you the migrated data. Open your Parse dashboard on Back 4 App and click on Browser under the Core menu. Go to Parse.com account and click on the same link. On this migrated app, we had a class called Employee with two roles. Comparing these two screens, we can see that these classes are the same. 